Okay, R E C means recording. Okay. Well, it's all right. I did my presentation on why Jason Voorhees is the most prolific cinematic killer of all time. Um, first off, the franchise debuted in 1980. Uh, Jason didn't start killing until 1981, Friday the 13th, Part 2. He's been in nine subsequent films, and it's the highest grossing um, movie killer franchise of all time with $614 million. Now, some of you are probably thinking that he's really not the greatest, so some of you are probably Freddy Krueger fans. Nightmare on Elm Street debuted in 1984, and it has $522 million. But well, Freddy is a pedophile pansy and Christmas sweater with penis issues. So, I mean, seriously, who's afraid of Mr. Rogers? I'm not. You shouldn't be either. Next up is Michael Myers. Now, this franchise debuted in 1978 and has about, I don't know, $517 million. But I consider Michael Myers a classic case of mommy breastfeeding him a little too much. And he wears a wedding shatter mask. And, I don't know, that's not scary to me. I'm not afraid of Wayne Chatner. And his other biggest rival is Leatherface, which uh, is the first um, franchise debut in 1974 and has made $315 million. He's considered the godfather of movie serial killers. I'm not a fan. And underneath that mask, this is what you get. I'm not afraid of Jim Bob and John Boy. And is just an inbred cannibal hillbilly who never got asked to prom. I don't know what his problem is. Anyway. Now, what makes a uh, movie a cinematic killer prolific is body count. Jason slices and dices. He has the highest body count of any cinematic killer of all time with 136. That's debatable depending on who you ask. All these are my rough estimations. Freddy's got 33, <laughs> Michael's got 95. I don't know how many leather phases he's got because Google wouldn't tell me. So, um, and let's look at weapons. Okay, you got, you got Freddy's cat claw with butter knives. I'm not afraid by that. You shouldn't be either. You got a chef's knife. I don't know. I'm a cook. They don't scare me. And uh, then you got the chainsaw. Unless the guy's running with a gas can strapped to his waist, just keep running in a straight line. It will run out of gas. <laughs> and, then <there's, laughs> and then there's the machete. That's scary. That thing's been used in mass genocide, unfortunately. So, that's kind of scary. And then, uh, there's a reason, um, what makes the other three um, second rate is they all kill indiscriminately and randomly. Um, Jason does not. Okay? Freddy just kills little girls. Myers kills babysitters. Why? Who knows? Uh, Leatherface is an imbecile. So he kills just about anything. When you die in one of their movies, you don't know why. You just end up dead. When you die in a Jason movie, you know why. And this is why. He only kills people who deserve it. I consider Jason to be a... Um, What's what I'm looking for? He is God's avenging angel on earth. He kills all mortal corrupt sinners. And this is why. If you do drugs after criminal sex, if you're a girl who's kind of easy and loose, you're a criminal, hippie, pervert, drunk, or you trespass, or you attack him, you will end up dead. And he does not harm children or animals. And he is a protector of innocence. So, don't attack him. Uh, you will end up dead. If you see a guy in a hockey mask, just run the other way. Most importantly, why Jason is the most prolific cinematic serial killer is he has a psychological impact. So that they come up. Okay, no, nobody stops sleeping or dreaming because of Freddy. Michael Myers does not stop you from fearing Halloween. Leatherface does not make you afraid of incestuous rednecks. But Jason did for summer camps what Jaws did for swimming in the ocean. He does make you fear stuff. I don't know if you do, but I do. I fear driving down back to road at night. I fear taking a shower home alone. If it was in the dark, I've never been to a summer camp, and I'm not having sex with my girlfriend in a tent, all because I watched Jason. <laughs> all right? And last, he doesn't kill without a purpose. So he makes you fear being morally corrupt. And finally, because he kicked the fecal matter out of Freddy Krueger. And that's my presentation of why Jason. <laughs> Okay, so there